In Factor Now, America's hardest bounty hunters relish the jobs even the police won't touch next. And if you missed it the first time around, you've a chance to catch Most Haunted's live encounter at Dover Soul Castle later. I'm Andy Bruno, age 32, and a sales executive from Manchester. I'm Richard Wallace, age 25, a recreation management student from Nottingham. I'm Marion Chanter, age 32, a baker from Lost Wadeel in Cornwall. I'm Niall Laverty, I'm age 26, I'm a computer programmer from Belfast. Good evening and a very warm welcome to the third and last heat in our Group A section. By the end of tonight's contest, we shall know the complete lineup for next week's Group Final. Already there, of course, are Bank Manager Peter Wally from Heat 1 and Lecturer Peter Crosby from Heat 2. And they'll be joined in that Group Final by the winner of tonight's heat, plus, of course, the best runner-up of the group. And at the moment, Paola Fabrizzi from Heat 1 is the highest scoring runner-up with a Krypton factor of 34. So that's an extra target for tonight's contestants. Now I know they're very anxious to get started, so let me now wish all of them, Andy Bruno, Richard Wallace, Marion Chanter, and Niall Laverty, the very best of luck. And contestants, would you please put on your headphones now as we go into the first tough round. And tonight's first test will feature a series of these car registration numbers. Now this one is appropriately marked GHB, which happens to be my initials, and 162, the number of Krypton Factor programs that have been transmitted over the last 11 years. Now, if I was to put this down, could you tell me now what the sum total of the numbers were, and also could you rearrange the letters into alphabetical order? Done it? Well, the answer should be 9, B, G, H. 9, because that's the total of 162, and B, G, H, because that's G, H, B, rearranged into alphabetical order. So, that then is the style of the round, but this is a speed test. The contestants must get as many right as they can in 50 seconds. We're going to start with Andy. If you're ready, Andy, your 50 seconds start now. LHK 635. 11 HKL. Wrong. TEF 598. 22 TEF. Wrong. RSB 793. 19 BRS. JXU 162. 9 JUX. HTD 459. 18 DHT. SWO 538. 16 OSW. ULQ 372. 12. That's it. Your time is up, and at the end of your 50 seconds, you have scored four, Andy. And now we move on to you, Richard. Your 50 seconds start now. TBH765. 18. BHT. GSK482. 14. GKS. WJO836. 17. JOW. SEB587 20 BES IBK384 15 BIK TFD751 13 Time's up, I'm afraid, and in your 50 seconds, you scored five. Well done, Richard. On we go to Marion. 
Your 50 seconds start now. L-A-K-691. 16. A-K-L. T-F-H-327. 12. F-H-T. P-G-S-839. 20. G-P-S. D-O-F-473. 14. D-F-O. T-C-P-537. 15. C-P-T. K-D-L-849. 21. D-K-L. C-T... And that's it. Your time's up. In 50 seconds, you got six right. Well done, Marion. And finally, we move on to you, Niall. Your 50 seconds start now. KEC 642. 12. CEK. VFP 798. 24. FPV. RAS 583. 16. ARS. TES 391. 13. EST. UCP 287 17 CPU KIR 541 10 IKR HPD 679 22 DHP WFO 714 12 It's no time to finish but at the end of your seven and that means that in fact Niall you're the winner of the round well done <laughs> and they're such an important factor in the first round but they all cope with it so well and reminding you it's ten points six points four points and two for first second third and fourth let's go to the scoreboard to get the complete picture at the end of the first round and in fourth place it was Andy Bruno who has two points, third place Richard Wallace with four points, second place Marion Chanter with six points, but the early leader with a Krypton factor of ten is the computer programmer from Belfast, Niall Laverty. <laughs> It's into tracksuits now for the contestants and for tonight's response round it's back to those arm and leg ergometers and the 64 screen video wall reflex test. And the precise challenge of that video wall for this heat is to determine whether red, green, yellow or blue is the predominant colour displayed around the border each time a mixture is flashed up on the screens. Now, for example, here you see five blues, three greens, three reds and three yellows around the border. So the answer is blue. Now the contestants have the additional problem of striking the correspondingly colored button to register their decision. Now if they get it right in the time allowed, then scores appear in the four screens which now show zeros. Now this, I can assure you, is a really tough test, but our contestants are now ready to take it on. So contestants, on your marks, go. And they leap onto their exercise bikes to begin a race that will be decided not by the speed they move their arms and legs, but by the greatest level of arm leg coordination achieved. Now with their eyes flicking between two speedometers, they must try to achieve a constant speed of 50 revolutions per minute pedaling forwards with their legs and 30 revs per minute pedaling backwards with their arms. An onboard computer controls the speed of the chariot in relation to the level of coordination achieved. If you maintain the 50-30 rate, you travel at maximum speed. But the greater the degree of error, the slower you go. And it's Marion in yellow just in the lead as she rushes towards the video wall. Pretty close for second place between Niall Laverty in blue and Andy Bruno in red, Richard Wallace fourth. Now remember, it's the screens around the perimeter that are important here. Each time the colours flash up, decide which colour predominates. So at that time it was yellow, the K's mean stand by. And that was the answer, blue.
The object is to score 10 hits. The first to get 10 will win the round. Richard draws level with Marion, 5 all. Just the one. Is this it? No, incredibly, they both missed it. Tension setting in. But they get there this time. They tie the round. That's ten points for Marion and ten points for Richard. And Niall has cooked up to snatch third place. Four points. A good race there, and with two contestants tying, that's going to make very interesting reading when we transfer those points into the scoreboard. We'll do that right away. And indeed, we've got two contestants now sharing second place with 14 points, but a new leader with a Krypton factor of 16, the baker from Lost Withiel, Cornwall, Marion Chanter. that this is the round in which whole families from grannies to granddaughters like to compete against each other so have another go now we're about to show our contestants two takes of a specially shot drama scene the challenge is to pick out the five changes that occur in the second take right contestants will you now please turn quickly and face your screens as we go downtown to the Tallahassee bar in take one and take two take one it's really nice of you to bring us here Robert I've never been in an American bar before. Oh, the service you get here is really spectacular. It will be if you don't stop shaking that can of lager up and down. It's not a can of lager, Dad. It's a cocktail shaker. That's what most people drink here, cocktails. I, I think you better order for us, Robert. Uh, Are you ready? Yes, we'll have uh, two Tallahassee tonsil ticklers and an Alabama hammer. Dad? Two Tallahassee tonsil ticklers and an Alabama hammer. What kind of an order is that? You don't have to have that, Dad. Just pick what you want. What do you do with that? Drink it or prune it? <laughs> this is an American bar, Dad. To them, a drink should be a visual experience, too. The decoration of the Alabama suggests sunshine, color, and the ambiance of the Deep South. Well, I'll have a pint a mile, then, love. <laughs> pint a mile, eh? I'd like to see him put a um, um, ambulance on that. Take two. It's really nice of you to bring us here, Robert. I've never been in an American bar before. Oh, the service you get here is really spectacular. It will be if you don't stop shaking that can of lager up and down. It's not a can of lager, Dad. It's a cocktail shaker. That's what most people drink here. I think you better order for us, Robert. Uh, Are you ready? Yes, we'll have uh, two Tallahassee tonsil ticklers and an Alabama hammer. Dad? Two Tallahassee tonsil ticklers and an Alabama hammer? What kind of an order is that? You don't have to have that, Dad. Just pick what you want. What do you do with that? Drink it or prune it? <laughs> This is an American bar, George. To them, a drink should be a visual experience, too. The decoration of the Alabama suggests sunshine, color, and the ambiance of the Deep South. Well, I'll have a pint a mile, then, love. <laughs> pint a mile, eh? I'd like to see him put a, um, um, ambulance on that. That's the lot. Contestants, would you now turn to the front, please, and write down on the answer cards provided what you think the five changes were. And while they're concentrating on that, you can check your own answers now as we show you precisely what those five changes were. Here they are. First, the menus. In take one, on the left of the bar, two cocktail menus. But in take two, they had disappeared. Then a dialogue change. That's what most people drink here, cocktails. But in take two, no cocktails. 
That's what most people drink here. Number three was the red bow in the waitress's hair. And take two, it was a white one. The fourth change, no order pad on the tray in take one, but in take two, it was clearly visible. And finally, a name change. This is an American bar, Dad. But it wasn't Dad in take two. This is an American bar, George. Well, did you get all five? The contestants, I can tell you, did not. I have their answer cards in front of me. But they all did equally in that they all got two right, which means they all get four points. And if we go to the scoreboard, obviously it means no change in the overall situation. The leader still with a Krypton Factor now of 20 is the baker from Cornwall, Marion Chanter.